Now, India is gearing up to resist a massive earthquake. The country has, in fact, come up with a new earthquake design code and a new risk classification system. And this place is nearly about 61% of India's landmass and 75% of the population in moderate to strong earthquake-prone zones. And our next poll gets more details. Bhuj, Chandigarh, Tarjeeling, Gohati, Port Blair, Srinagar. According to a new report, all these cities and several others have something new in common. They all lie within Earthquake Zone 6, India's newest, highest risk seismic zone. The Bureau of Indian Standards has released this map. It shows India in different shades to denote the different earthquake zones. Zone 2 is yellow with little to no risk of high-intensity earthquakes. And the newly created Zone 6 is in the region facing the most risk. Unsurprisingly, Zone 6 sweeps across the Himalayas. That's because the world's tallest mountains are the direct result of continuous seismic activity. Beneath the mountains, you have two major tectonic plates crashing into each other. The Indian plate is ramming into the Eurasian plate. The motion forces both the giant landmasses to rise upwards, creating the Himalayas and keeping them growing even today. But this process of colossal fragments of the Earth's crust crashing into each other leads to tremendous pressure beneath the surface. The plates crack, creating what are known as fault lines. And one of these days, those fault lines may crack all the way through leading to a massive earthquake, the likes of which hasn't been seen in about 200 years. The last major Himalayan earthquake was the one that hit Nepal in 2015. It killed thousands and devastated the country's capital, Kathmandu. But even that quake did not cross eight on the Richter scale. The Himalayas are due an eight-pointer, or maybe even an earth-shattering nine-pointer. Time is ticking, so India is making preparations to avoid catastrophe. The new classification system and earthquake design code serve a twofold purpose. They point out the regions most at risk, and then they recommend the best building practices. Countries like Japan have been living with regular earthquakes. They have developed practices to help buildings withstand the worst impacts. India's new code hopes to do the same. For example, the code says that buildings in high-risk zones need to anchor non-structural items that weigh a certain amount. Items like water tanks on top of buildings will need to be locked in place so they don't fly off during an earthquake and land on someone's head. The new standards are being brought in with a view of saving as many lives as possible. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.